Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. They've nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Poor kid.
This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that, but I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley. Or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Stop bothering me! Pierce, shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? This roast. What strange creature has flesh like this? This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins' family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring the fire under control, but it was already too late for the Hawkins. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Let's see if I can find something the cops missed.
The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did someone escape the fire? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked.
the boy's room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. 
I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Really think that your fugitive came Probably in here? another friend of Hawkins. I don't see any way out. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. I'd be better off not touching them for the moment. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Seems like this came from a log. It looks like an old seaway map. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Looks like it worked. Well done, Pierce. 